Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before I start uh, this video, funny story. Um, I was actually supposed to go um back to Pioneer University camp. If you all remember my sweater from that, um, and volunteer there, so I would have been gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I had to make sure that, and I wasn't gonna film Thursday, my guys remember today, but I had to make sure that the videos I was doing were filmed. So I was gonna go Wednesday. I was gonna film yesterday, today, and Wednesday. But then, the group that was coming cancelled, so now I'm not going. So then I was sitting there filming, so I'm like, what am I doing? I don't need to do this. Um, and since I'm not filming Thursdays anymore, just because I have something going on that day, and this is the new schedule. I'm going to be filming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, Grace Hall is still tainted because I do try to give you four videos on that channel but it, it's just really hard it seems it's gotten a little bit harder on this one push it because i'm not watching things as much anymore i am in season four of the Waltons, and i did get some ideas so we're good so let's hop into the video today's video is on the different eras of the Waltons. now you may be thinking what are you talking about so let me explain the way I look at TV shows is there's always these different eras. There's, and some have different eras. So, for the Walton's example, they have really two eras. And since it has nine seasons, this works out nicely. They have the first four seasons, which is the pretty much, this is mostly just the Great Depression because that's what it is. And it's also when the kids are kids and to up uh, to teenagers a little bit and then we get to season five which is what i like to call the transition season and it is something that i made up maybe i don't know but for those of you who don't know a transition season is pretty much a season where things sort of shift or change in the TV show, if it's like a character, the character goes through major character development. If the character's a kid at the beginning of the season, they grow up. Or something major happens that changes the storyline. And in the Waltons, that season five is the transition season, mostly because that's when majority of the Waltons, pretty much four out of seven of the children, step out of childhood and into adulthood as by then they graduate. Mary Ellen also gets married which is also a big change in her character development and World War II starts which is also a big change in the Waltons. And then after season five which is the transition season we come to season six which is well it's not season six, season six to nine which is pretty much which may not seem like it, but it is four, six, seven, eight, nine, which is World War Two, and a different stage because by this time, by this time, only one of the Walton, only two of the Waltons aren't going up, and that's Jim Bob and Elizabeth, and he does, and Jim Bob does graduate in season eight. So that means that mostly Elizabeth is not a kid, because, which is, although she is a teenager, so which is I guess is a little bit different than being a kid. Um, now, we could add the reunion movies to these, but really only the best three are, only the first three are good, because I'll say, the first three of reunion movies start almost directly where the Waltons picked off, maybe a few, it's after World War Two, so 45, 46, give or take, so those would also be in the new era, or the... World War II era, but because there's so many different plot lines and most of them are adults, that is going to be the, that we'll call the, we'll call it the reunion era because that's what it was. Those were all reunion movies from the cast, so those, that will be the reunion era. And honestly, the last three are really weird. Because they take place in the 60s, and if you guys remember my video that I did on the Walton timeline, you will note that I did mention that that doesn't make sense because 
John Boy was born in 1916. He would be in his late 40s, early 50s. I don't think he got married that late. So, that's, I don't really like the last two, but the first two are good, but they are a separate era themselves. They are a different era. And just so you guys know, all the TV shows I do talk about, even How to well, How to Dragon is a little bit different because there's so much in that where they have, you know, the shorts and the movies and the TV shows that there's so much you can't really figure that out. The books are a little bit easier to determine. The books, there's 12 books, so there's, let's see, it's four, there's three sections where there's the adventure part where Hiccup is just gaining and you just learn adventures. Then there's kind of the middle part, which is a bit of the prophecy, and then there's the last four, which is the king stuff, but I'm that will be another video. Whereas, uh, I will probably do a video on transition seasons. If I haven't done that already, and I will explain it all to you, and which TV shows have transition seasons, and if so, which season is the transition season. So that's going to be for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you tomorrow for, I think it's going to be a Cup Clash video. Yes, alright, see you.